Carlene Rose and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a ninja flow. So to start channeling our inner ninja, let's come into a uh, temple or horse stance as it is in, called in martial arts. So we've got our toes and knees facing the same direction. Of course we're in a wide stance, knees are bent. Come to sit low. Uh, you don't have to sit quite this low. You can be up here if that is uh, a little bit more comfortable for you if your legs aren't super warmed up. And we'll just come into this pose as we start activating our Mula Bunda breath. So inhale, big deep expansion in the belly and exhale, squeeze all of the air in and out. Inhale here, exhale. And with this we'll start doing some fists of fire. So you're gonna inhale, reach up, exhale, fist come to the low side belly as you exhale. Inhale here, exhale, fist of fire with our big ujjayi exhale. It's a victorious sounding breath. You can even extend the legs long with the inhale, exhale, sit a little deeper. A few more breaths here as we start to warm up our legs, our arms, even channeling our core strength with this move of under breath. And last one here, sitting down low, holding that, and start to um, move side to side. We'll start getting into some ninja lunges. So you can place your fingertips on the ground. We don't need to stretch too deep into our inner thighs yet since we're just starting to warm up. Um, if it helps, you can even face your toes a little bit more forward. Even widen your stance if you need to. And just waving back and forth, starting to stretch the inner thighs for our ninja lunges. Last one here. Feet come to face forward, so we're in a wide leg forward fold. Start with bent knees, wave the spine long, and then straighten the legs. Find where that fold is for you. Come into your forward fold. For a couple of breaths. Now walk back up onto your hands. Heel toe your feet back to center. So feet are now about hip width distance apart. Grounding into the earth. Bend knees here. Wave your spine long. Exhale, fold. Then come to that first edge of stretch, straightening the legs back to your regular forward fold. And bend your knees here, really deep, sitting into your heels. Roll yourself in and up, feeling one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, hands come back to heart center. Namaste, our arms will be mudra. Very nice, so hopefully you're feeling a little bit warm. We're going to do a ninja salutation, so it's a little bit fun, funky uh, sun salutation variation. Uh, from here, you're going to come back to your forward fold, walk your hands out into down dog. I'm gonna step back a little, didn't give myself quite enough room on the mat, so make sure you get enough room on your mat. Pedal out your feet. Start stretching your calf muscles a bit. And from here, slight bend in the knees, slight bend in your elbows, wave your spine long. So create a lot of space with your shoulders, room for your head and neck to um, be natural. And then you can start straightening the limbs, start pressing your heels back towards the earth. Again, finding that first edge of stretch. that mula bunda breath back if it went anywhere with that movement. Now for here, for our ninja salutation variation, you're going to walk your hands back so you're on your fingertips just until you come um, onto your heels and the, your weight is now just past your heels. And from here, grounding into the earth, lift up, pause halfway, lift all the way up, Arms extend 
hand overhead, exhale, bend your knees, come forward, walking yourself out into plank, coming onto your knees, lowering through chaturanga, inhale here, we'll do three waterfall cobras, so inhale, wave up, exhale, and you don't have to wave all the way up for these, just halfway, little mini cobra, inhale up, exhale, very nice, this time lifting all the way up to up dog, and exhale through pointed plank, back to down dog. Very nice, we'll do a couple more of those, walking, coming out to your fingertips, walking yourself back until your weight is in your heels, and you can basically lift off of your fingertips. So inhale here, prepare long spine, lift yourself halfway up, pull yourself the rest of the way, arms reach up, exhale, hands come through namaste, bending your knees, walking yourself back out to plank, coming out to your knees, lowering down through chaturanga, inhale here, cobra, cobra waves I should say, last time here, Inhale, this time waving in and up through up dog, pressing yourself back up to down dog, you can pedal out your feet again, wave the spine long, coming onto your fingertips, walk your fingertips back until your weight is in the, your heels, lift yourself halfway, you can plant your fingertips on your shins, bending your knees, rolling yourself up the rest of the way, exhale, folding to the earth, walking yourself back out to plank, coming onto your knees, lowering through chaturanga, inhale here, cobra waves, last cobra wave here, coming back to the earth, inhale, prepare, rolling in and up through up dog, lifting your legs off of the ground, Exhale through your pointed plank to down dog. We'll do one more of those ninja salutations, really channeling all of our ninja skills. Walking your fingertips back. Weight comes into your heels. You can lift your fingertips off of the earth. Lift halfway up, bend your knees, unfurl yourself the rest of the way. Exhale to the earth. With bent knees, walking yourself out into your plank, coming onto your knees, lowering through chaturanga. We've got healthy shoulder alignment there. Rolling in and up through cobra wave one, two, and one more wave. Exhale, inhale, prepare, rolling in and up all the way to up dog. So you're lifting just a bit off of the ground as you exhale through pointed plank to your down dog. Fantastic work there, pedal out your feet, stick out your tongue, activating the top of your deep core line there when we do that. And walk your feet forward to meet your hands, coming to a seated position, walking your hands behind you. We'll do one last challenge here, so this will be a full body challenge really for your arms and your abs though. <laughs> so. Hands are going to plant behind you, fingertips facing forward, feet are planted into the earth. So you're going to lift yourself up into like a reverse tabletop, we'll do Tibetan swings from here. So Tibetan swings, you want to bend your arms, so really getting into our arm strength, and swing your hips, controlled swing, you're not just crazy swinging, back. So the trick is with these is you really want to lift up with your, um, your lower abdominal. Because if you just try to swing your hips back, you're not going to have enough room. So you really got to bend your arms and lift in and up with your lower abdominal muscles. That will give you the strength and the room that you need to be able to move your hips back. You can adjust your feet too if you have like really long legs or short legs or something so that you can do this pose. We'll do a couple more swings. And last one here, exhale, seeing if you can hold it really lifting in and up with your low belly. Exhale, Woo. shake out your wrists, you can even do 
magic wrist clear. We did a lot of wrist work. So massage, massage out your forearms and then squeeze your wrists and kind of pull it away from your arm, getting some traction. And from here, rolling yourself onto the earth, hugging your knees into your chest. Feet come to the floor, walk your uh, feet out wide, knock your knees towards each other, and take your right arm and stretch it across your body. Do some reclined arm stretches. And switch sides. Who says you can't do arm stretches while laying down? Nobody. Feels great. It's a great way to reset your spine too is what we're doing with our legs. So multitasking at its finest. Awesome. And from here, walk your feet back to center. You can even lift your knees up. If you want, extend them towards the sky. Now for this, don't think about pressing your feet up and stretching. This is supposed to be more of a relaxing, restorative pose that we're doing right now. So see if you can keep your legs in the air with as little energy as possible. Like the air is holding your legs up for you. Bit of an inversion with our legs. Slowly making your legs, feet back down to the earth, walking them out into Shavasana, taking any final stretches that you need there, really sinking into the mat. I hope you enjoyed that quick ninja yoga flow. Hopefully you're feeling your inner ninja powers, which you can use with you throughout the rest of the day. I do look forward to seeing you on the mat again next week. So make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel to get a notification when the new video comes up, as well as uh, read the comments, get on the League of Nerdy Yogis email list or the description. Uh, that way you can get the exclusive content that I have for you there. Namaste.